I'm Sean Bose, concert visual designer in Los Angeles, California. But today, we're going behind the scenes with the Red Hot Chili Peppers. We're in Chicago, Chi-Town, the Windy City, at Soldier Field, home of the Bears. But we're not talking to the Bears, we're talking to Jolly Josh about how the visual production of this show is put together and all the crazy shit he's doing with those fast fingers of his. I'm so excited. Let's go talk to him. Jolly, my dude, can you uh, give us a quick introduction of yourself and who you are, what you do? What's up? I'm Jolly. I'm the live content operator for the Peppers on this beast of a tour that we got here. Yeah, I basically press a bunch of buttons and make stuff look cool. What is this tour called and where are we? This is the Unlimited Love Tour. We are in Chicago today at a, I don't even remember what the field's called. <laughs> uh, we're at the Chicago Bears Stadium. <laughs> we're on the North American leg of this tour. You said you're about 50 shows in or so. How are you feeling right now? We're feeling good. Um, overnight programmings are getting really easy. This show's kind of dialing itself in. New album's coming out. Single came out today. Hopefully we get to hear that tonight. Tell us a little bit about the stage design itself. It's got this really cool curved design. and Yeah, so Scott Holthouse designed this. Um, he's been doing the Peppers designs for, for a very long time. And he kind of built this. I saw, we saw some renderings, you know, like April. I was very excited and it's really cool to see it kind of all come together. But it's all surrounded by strip lights and all of it's all bitmap reactive. All the LED content gets pushed through the lighting, so it's all reactive. Like it'll be, sometimes be an extension of what's happening on the walls, or standalone, or opposite, or something like that. So the wall comes down and it curves, and then hits the floor. The band stands on. There's some plexi that kind of creates that cushion between the band and the, and the LEDs, and then that curves down. So it's all cohesive through the whole thing as one piece. You talked a bit about it being kind of a generative and reactive show. Can you expand yeah. on that a little bit? Yeah, so we, uh, we have two sections of this show. One's kind of playback, which is cameras and content. That's all ran through Resolume. And then we have a touch designer server that was built by Setup Designs. And they kind of built us a touch designer rig that allows us on the MAs to be able to go and kind of pull scenes. And we've attached those scenes to songs. And then it's not as much like we have eight clips for verse, chorus, verse, or whatever. We have a scene, and I'm able to manipulate that scene to kind of grow throughout the wall and, you know, come up from the top and waterfall down or like explode out of the center of the back wall and then just kind of flow with what they're doing musically. With have, having enough progressive change to be able to create that difference in verse and chorus, but it's not like a scene fade change. It's more like that clip just evolves into something else. of like conceptualizing content like that? How did the design and concept phase of this project go? It just came with like basically Scott and the setup guys um, kind of put palace to the songs as we kind of picked where those were gonna go. We would recode them and adjust them to kind of work with those songs musically. It was kind of just picking an art piece and putting it there and then I would go in and yeah, dial in the controls. And yeah, all, dial in the controls the and like what it's gonna do and how it's gonna do that and change it a little bit if you have to, to make that actually work, you know? Mm -hmm. Some solos, like, I'd have an idea in mind, but there's just no way to get to it via parameters or handles, yeah. cockpit so this is the ma that we're using for video and then lighting ma is over there um this is all resolume this is the touch designer servers this is all camera sources so cameras come in we have six cameras in two, four isos and then two uh, program and me one then all this spits out to the matrix and the matrix routes 
out all the machine sends, then those go to the image pros, and then that's where we do the switching to what's going to the wall. This is all just like speed of those little movements and the shake, and I'll kind of play with that, you know? But then I have macros set up to kind of go to specific looks off of this, off of this, and so it's all just fader macros. So it'll be like, for every song, I can have different ones, and so I can automate all the faders to move to those desired positions for like starting the chorus, and then I could go back into them and you know do what Jolly does best. <laughs> Can you talk a little bit about the choice to use the MA as the control surface for all this? MA was the best because it could talk to all four servers at the same time without needing a switch. So like if like if for, for redundancy, Touch Designer's receiving both signals at the same time. Yeah. And then so like if it ever crashes and I'm in the middle of mixing, I don't have to like restart. The song, I could just swap over to the backup and it'll still be re receiving the mixing that I'm doing. Yeah, it's right in sync. That was the been doing thing. the whole yeah, time. Exactly. But on, in regards to like what to look forward to, yeah, stuff like that is, is the coolest thing is all of the fluidity of it all. Like this song right now that's pulled up is snow, and I am controlling all the movements of that snow basically. Like the flurries that are happening on the screen are all moving off of my, my finger parameters. been a Chili Peppers fan for a long time. Yeah. What is this, what does like being involved in this tour mean to you? Just a lot, I mean, it's very wholesome. And because my, I mean, I used to listen to this with my dad all the time, you know? And so it's just cool to be able to kind of embody my career into this, you know? I've been progressively rising very quickly through EDM. And then when I landed MGK, like that was Wicked Tour and following that is this and so it's kind of like what's what am i going to do next after this i guess California. 